everyone to another episode of the exciting Austrian Hungary Empire where we have done a couple African conquests and one particular African conquest made me so mad that I think I'm gonna have to like redo that because apparently you could conquer all of Egypt in one fell swoop and if I had personally known that I would have done that a long time ago but I didn't know that so yeah we're gonna rectify that and apparently they're trying to think that they can block me up right there. Yeah, I have more men than you do. Don't, don't, don't think that I don't know how to do this. So, yeah. Anyways, though, we have big gigantic fights happening. France is apparently insanely mobilized. So this actually might. Uh, what does this basically mean, people? Is I'm probably gonna have to actually fight this because it seems like Russia's not willing to go fight the uh, Frenchies and. Yeah. We're gonna have to fight this. Probably. So, since we're probably gonna have to fight this for a real war, I'm gonna have to mobilize and start the massive conscription. I don't. My African nation? How's my African nation doing? Okay. Probably have to go send more soldiers over there to go fight that army. Any of them coming? Holy moly. There's a lot. How did you get that much troops? So, I, I don't even know, but I'm just gonna retreat all my men out of here. Because I feel like they're about to go get squished by... Yeah, they, they were coming after me. Yeah, let's get let's get our men out of this region. Because I feel like they're going to die if I don't get them out. Yes, okay, they escaped. So we're going to get our men out of here. Next, what we're going to do is actually start focusing in and actually start caring about what happens over here. Because, well, we do need to do that. Otherwise, we're probably going to die. So, let's start actually doing that. We're probably going to go fight this big army right here in a big gigantic battle of epic portion. Um, France is basically destroying all of our good French. Uh, it's basically destroying them over there. France should be at war with like six different nations. So, I don't know. They should be crumbling. In fact, to help, to help them along, I'm going to give you guys militaristic access. Okay? I want you guys to go crush France. Like, I literally want Russia to come in and go crush France. Like, it might sound very, very, like, you know. Okay. Go send some men to go help our... Go send some men to go help our friends. Because obviously they're going to lose that battle if we don't go help. Uh, Sphere-wise, Bulgaria is having a little bit of difficulty. Let's see. How much difficulty? Just two rebels. Not enough difficulty for me to care. Um... We're going to go combine our men into one gigantic army. We're also going to go fight against... Lose... Lose the brave realism. No. All you guys combine. Make a bigger army. We're going to go destroy this French army right here. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are still going to... You guys are going to move, but you guys are actually heading towards the weakest point in my entire line. So, hope you guys know that. That's my weakest point. Alright. Let's keep going. Um, Let me make sure I got my men out of here. That's just that's just way too much men for us to fight. We can probably fight this over here because that's not really much, but yeah. The British are obviously invading this little tiny areas over here. They don't usually Britain doesn't focus that hard on other things. Um It looks like I'm probably gonna have to i I'm probably gonna have Spain disenter this war pretty quickly. Come on, Russia, we need you. We need your mighty Russianness. To come fight this. Or we need the Great British to do what they usually do. And do massive cool invasions of France. Which they never usually did in the real life. But in this game they do massive cool invasions of France. Which would be really awesome right about now. Okay. Go crush all these armies. Yeah. I'm not going to let I'm not gonna let my Bavarian friends die. So let's go help them out. Yeah. 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 You guys move back. I am the protector of my empire. Yay! Okay. And Spain is just getting its butt whooped. I feel kind of bad for Spain, but then I kind of don't. I don't know. And for me, I'm like just wondering how much the French have just blobbed up. I've let... I seriously let the French blob up way too much. Way too much. And now I'm going to have to deal with it. But we're going to have to first hope that the French... Okay, we're gonna have to hope that they get to that cut down the size part. So if we could have the French just like magically all vanish, that'd be nice. Okay. Okay, uh, Germany, could you guys give me military access just for now? Oh my goodness. 
Guys, don't don't be like that. Ah, okay. If you guys are gonna be like that, I need to go crush some more men. Okay. I don't really have time to be like that right now. Because I have to make sure that all these armies are not squished by the, uh, by these guys. So, just, no. Go right through here, then go right through there. You have to go stop the Portuguese from making stupid decisions. Okay. And then, yeah, there we go. And there we go. We're defending them. And... Boom! <laughs> 32 versus... That's not going to end well for you. Alright. You guys also divide divide up your, your soldiers. Send half of them back to go destroy the rest of this army. With these guys close at hand. At reinforcements once you guys get bigger. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm most, I'm most likely using Spain right now as a big gigantic... Uh, Balloon force, I should say, or just a force I'm using just because I can. But that's fine with me, cause that's all that, that's all they're used for. Okay, okay. Now let's get our soldiers out of here first, cause I realize we're probably gonna get them killed if we don't get them out of there. And can we use the Suez Canal? Is it off limits? It's off limits to us. Okay. Um, for the most part, then we're probably safe. Um, <laughs> uh, probably. Uh, I, I feel like Great Britain controls the outer seas more than the French do, so that should probably... Yeah, America is also helping contribute to that. So we're going to get our men all the way back to over here into Spain. And then from there, we're also going to try to push back the French. And it seems like the Spanish have recovered all their land and are starting to push back the French. And this is why, if you ever guys want to know, this is why I always try to get the Spanish in my sphere of influence. If I'm playing any other nation but France. Oh, even when I play France, actually, when I think about it, I actually do keep them in my sphere. So what we're going to do is with these two armies, we're going to go crush this army. That way they can't use it against us in the future. Because I have a feeling that's what they're going to try to do is use that army against me in the future, and I don't like that. Uh, we also have a couple armies right here that are going to get themselves killed if I don't get them into good standing. Yeah, you guys go right there. We know you guys are probably going to attack there. You guys are in some kind of suspended animation. You guys are about to get there. You guys move in right there. That should provide the backbone for that army. Uh, you guys, I guess, go right here then. I'm going to go have these guys group up. Ooh. Yeah, you guys are obviously trying to do what you guys are trying to do. You guys are... They're really trying to break my line. That's what they're trying to do. Going to go send some men over there to go help Portuguese again. Fight these guys. Boom, boom, boom. Should be able to beat that. Yeah. Wasn't really too hard. And I have men already moving in. So, actually, if we just keep them right here. There we go. There we go. Keep them right there. Go right there. And we destroyed their big gigantic death stack. Go right out. Go right. Yeah, I'm going to have to go right out. So, you guys go right there. There we go, we destroyed that army over here. Over there, it seems like the Spanish are doing pretty good. Not exactly great, but doing pretty good. Over here, we're going to win that battle. That's good. Yeah, it seems like the French are pretty weak from their fights with the British and all them. Uh, the Spanish seem to be able to... They seem to be able to at least hold the, Brit the French back, and we're starting to push back the uh, French mobilization effort. So... That's good. We're just casually starting to move in more and more. They are trying to do cheekier tactics to try to stop us. But as we know, we are the Austrian-Hungarians and we will crush them if they keep trying. Okay. They should know this by now. I don't mess around. And that force right there is about to get crushed. Okay. So let's see. We got a couple men moving into over there. Good. We got a couple men moving in from over there. Alright, and we got these men right here. You guys, actually I need you guys to go right over there. So that we can, yeah, 42 men, 74 men right there. And even more, boom, dead, dead, immediately intervene. 0%, that was just like a slot of epic proportion. Alright, you guys, go right there, go help reinforce these guys. Actually, we could probably surround these guys right here. Alright, you guys go chase after them. 
you guys go right over there. And let's see, is there any kind of backwards? There's some back troops over here. I could probably drag them out this way, kind of push them in that direction. And Spain is doing good enough to the point where we basically have control over France. That's basically my situation and low down on Spain. All this land should be conquered up. Probably can't stop it right now. But in a couple days, we'll be able to conquer all this and break away Egyptian Africa from the French mitts, which I don't even know how they got. And then we'll declare war on them ourselves and conquer it ourselves. Because that's who it really should belong to. Alright. Seems like we're having some difficulty over here. We better go stop that before it, like, ends our military. There we go. Go send our armies down there to go fight. Okay. Go send our next army. Go down there. Group up our army. There we go. Then go fight. Yeah, that's how we do it. All right, you guys are all done. Go directly. Oh, man. We're almost to Paris again. Yay. Wait. No, I think... Wait, wait. This is the first time we've done it in this campaign of conquering Paris. So, yeah. This is still a big deal. And we're doing the National Banking Act. Huzzah! Because it gives us prestige and not bad things. Huzzah! Hmm. Excuse me, people. And let's see. Let's go right here. Yeah, you just keep moving forward. I guess I'll go crush on this side first. And I'll start moving into other... Go go kill these guys first. Okay, it seems like these guys over there are dead. Um, You guys go over here. You guys go over there. And you guys go over there. Yeah, look at that. We basically crushed all their men. Um, the French are now defeated. We've got just basically now siege work to do. And they should honestly give up much quicker than, than anything else. Because we're going to be able to beat them pretty badly. And I guess this is the war where we do something against them. <sighs> and it's going to feel great. <laughs> The whistle tour, everyone, and of course we got to go on a whistle tour as, as our, as we are casually at war. I mean, we just have to. Ooh, this is a big battle right here. Avignon has major troop. We're losing lots of troops, but once we even the forces out, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to start winning this a little bit more effectively. Yeah, now we're starting to like even the battle playing field. Yeah, now they're starting to lose it. Yeah. You just, sometimes, the only way you can win in this game is you just have to even out the troops. So, if you guys remember that, you guys should be able to win very often in this game. So remember, even out the troops, and that's all you need to do sometimes to win a battle. Especially defensive-wise, that's all you need to do. Apparently, Russia had a revolution, and I didn't even know about it. Wow. And, let's see, what kind of government did they have? So, reactionaries took power, and they are no voting. Only one rule party, meetings are not allowed, stay press only, stay controlled, uh, only underground, nobody gets out, uh, mandatory service, and oppression. Wow. Oh my goodness, Russia, you guys sound so... Wow. Just... Wow. I, I can't even... I think you guys must be all thinking the same thing I'm thinking because I must not be thinking you guys must be thinking what I'm thinking because I'm thinking like We have the Bolshevik revolution just happened guys Okay, and France do you want what you want you guys gonna give me it. Yep, and We could probably rip him a new one too Let's see Oh wait, that, that's that's Norman. That's Germany. Uh, is there anything else we want to kind of get out of this? Uh, that would give us... Eh, that seems like too much infamy. But this would give us what we want. Let's go get that back. Fine. Go send all of our soldiers back. Demobilize. We didn't even fully... We didn't even fully mobilize. Alright, we're probably going to have to, like, send all them together. Then, del then you know, deliberately, like, split them up all over again. And there we go. So, now Egypt is back. Oh. Well, now Egypt is back. And what I'm going to do is remove them from my sphere of influence. Probably took like one infamy for that. And then as soon as... As soon as I can, we're going to declare war casually on them. And they're going to die. And 
Okay, they cannot have 362 manpower still. I destroyed most of their army. Like, okay. We're gonna casually start making Egypt hate us. And let's see, how much of Egypt actually... 1.45. Yeah, they're kind of worth it. Uh, uh, no. Assert our position. You guys really just don't... Yeah, Russia, you guys knew I was gonna do this, so I don't know why you guys are surprised if I declare war. I'm kind of already ready for war, just saying. Like, I'm kind of ready for it right now. So, if you guys want to fight me, come and fight me. But now you... Oh yeah, I can just... I have keep forgetting though, I can also just assert homogeny and I don't even have to do anything. Let's see, is everyone going to join in? Let's see, do you have any great power alliances? No, you do not. So, first, let me justify something to do. I feel like I just need to do this now, because it's pretty... I don't have that much infamy, so I guess I can probably risk it. Is that we're going to get the Liberate Casas Belli against you, Prussia. And this is the best way to ever destroy the North Germanic Federation, guys, if you ever know this. And we're going to get the the requirement that says, uh, free the Prussian lands. Uh-huh. And what we're going to do is we're going to assert our position. Well, we don't need to assert our position, actually. You guys can take Wurttemberg. But we're going to win the battle. Don't worry, Germany. Don't worry. Just give us a little bit of time, because right now we're still recovering from, like, massive, massive... Okay. Did you guys ever make it over here? Oh, you guys finally made it over here. Good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have you guys go duck up somewhere. Right about here. You guys become my enemy. Yes. You guys are going to become my enemy. And as soon as I can, we're going to declare war, take all your land. Oh man, we're even gonna have to we're gonna have to free one more nation from from the uh, Egyptian holding, which is Sudan. And then from there, what we can do is take over that. And then from there, we also need to start working on on the Ottomans too. Actually, it's Serbia. Whoops. Serbia. Wait, you guys are still in the sphere of the what? How are you guys still in the sphere of the Russians? I thought we got you guys out of there. Well, anyways, since you guys are still in the sphere of the Russians, I can't mess with you guys just yet. And I still got really high infamy right now, so I can't, I, I can't, like, do anything with my wanting to do massive new federation. Alright, so we got these guys right here. I think it's, I think my army's still divided pretty evenly. So what I'm going to do is just spread them out all over the massive coast I have. And for once, we're actually going to be ready for, we're actually going to be ready for a uh, Germanic invasion. I mean, usually... Usually what comes down to it is that Germany is the one that usually beats me. But this time, this time, we're the ones who's ready for it. <laughs> oh, and then you guys also try to do your own little conquest right here. Actually, you guys did do your own little conquest right there. And yes. But we still can't conquer any of this. By the way, can we take over the rest of of them? Yep, we can. Let's 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 finish off also our good friends, the Santo, just so that we can say we finished them off. Okay, and make sure no other, like, nation gets them. And we'll also be fighting against the biggest, usually the biggest production agency ever. Right now, they're only fighting against Zanzibar. Okay, that's a pretty good, like, fight right there, but it's not really epic. Wait, don't I also have a cosplay against you guys, too? Uh, free the Balkans. Oh yeah, I also have a free the Balkans thing. So, hmm. Well, what are you guys fighting over right now? Hmm. You guys, why are you guys fighting? Uh. Humiliate Montenegro. Okay. So what we're going to do quickly is that we're quickly just going to like free the Balkans and we're going to free Albania, okay? I don't usually like to do this, but I think it's going to have to like happen basically. And what we're going to do is we're going to free Albania. We're going to quickly declare war on them. Have everyone join in. Uh, basically, I'm going to have them do it because I really don't want to fight this war and. 
what they're going to do is they're basically going to take over all of Albania for us and then take over all of this region for us and we're also going to decrease relationships with Egypt so that we can eventually declare war on them, take all of Egypt and then and then start solidifying our little piece of Africa. And with that people, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.